hello welcome back to my channel thank you for coming back and as always huge massive thank you for the support so today i am actually in my new craft room um it is a lot smaller than i thought it was going to be um but i think i should be okay in here so um still got a couple of things more to put back in um but starting to get a bit more comfortable with a lot more things coming around me that um i can just grab uh, um, if i needed them so today um, I am going to be using the amethyst win wings, that's the plan. Um, I did bring in the paper pad, there is a chance I may use it. Um, I'm hoping I won't, um, I'm hoping I'll be able to use that elsewhere at some other time. Um, but I've bought it in just in case. And we've got the uh, beautiful foiling again, delicate spatters of silver, beautiful flecks coming through. Um, and then you've got that lovely printed piece with the beautiful border and then you've got this bit which is just the most beautiful um, bit of artwork with that silver foiling in it's just oh, it's just so gorgeous but let's pop that out of the way and let's get started so I thought for my first card I'm going to come in and do a stepper card not a stepper card yes a stepper card um so um i've got a piece of the six by 12 which is what i would normally use and this is the 300 gsm white card and for this one i'm going to butt this up to the one inch mark which my trimmer has passed um you know sort of past the cut line and i'm going to cut from one to seven there we go and then I'm just going to turn that around and do exactly the same on the other side. So I've got that up to one inch um, and then I'm at the seven. So I'm going to go from the seven to the one. Okay. And we'll pop that out of the way for a second and we'll bring the scoreboard back in. On the inches side, so that's fantastic. So I'm going to score at one at two and then if i bring in my ruler this is an old ruler it's a bit tatty seen better days there you go it still does what i need it to do so i'm just going to line that up with the six inch mark and i'm just going to go across that middle part and then i'm going to score at seven and then what I'll do is I'll just turn that over just for ease and do the same again. So one, two, and seven. Okay, so now we just need these to get, get folded in the way that we want them to go. So I'm just going to gently ease all of those into position. And then if I move it out of the way, I'll show you what we've got. So we've got a mountain valley um, and then a mountain again and then if i just pop that down and then i can just burnish that just make sure those creases are nice and crisp and it just means that the card will fold a lot neater each time okay so we've got down up down now i have noticed on here i've just scored a little bit in um, on where I don't want it to be. So what I'm going to do is just pop my cardstock back on there and that's on the two inch mark. And what I'm going to do is so I can just see it coming through there. So I'm just going to push that back through. And that just kind of, um, if I just with that it just takes it out or at least makes it a lot less noticeable than it was so let's pop that to the side so for my layers i'm going to have a piece across here which is one by six inches a piece um, or two pieces here which are one by five well, this is the space we have to fill and then this piece here which is five by four i believe let me just double check that yeah five by four okay so that's what we're going to be doing the mats for so because the kit is um silver i'm going to be using mirror card um it is um 
unfortunately A4, so I haven't managed to um, get any of the 6x6 in the silver yet. It's on my list of things to do, um, but I haven't done it yet. So I'm going to start with the two notches under one inch. I'm going to do that three times on this long side and then I'll cut those down to size. So two notches under the one. And then I need one that's going to be two notches under the six for that front. And these are going to be two notches under the five. And that's going to go on, I'm going to call it the arms. Um, two of those. And then let's have a look at this. What's that size? It's going to be too small, so I'll pop that back in there. Obviously get more out of that at a later date. And then I'm going to pop this one in. I need that to be two notches under the four and two notches under the five and that's going to be our center centerpiece there okay so now i need to decide which of the card stocks i'm going to use and i think i'll save that one for the next card and i'm going to First of all, I'm going to cut this piece off here. Um, let's do that at one and a quarter. And because there's not enough there to do the two pieces which I want to do, I think I'm probably going to leave that for another time. Okay, so I'm going to do a piece that is for the center piece. Um, and I'm going to do that at four notches under the four, or three and three quarters. And I'm going to pick the purpley tones to be on it, and that's going to be by four and three quarters. And that should fit onto that mat quite nicely. And it does. Keep that. And in my case, I'm not quite sure what's happened there, but it stopped filming at some point. So I'm just going to go through what I've done so far. So I, I know it was filming when I did the silver mat. So we've got a mat to fit um, one by six inches. So it's two notches under one, two notches under six. And then this one came from the cardstock and it was four notches under one or three quarters of an inch and five and three quarters of an inch. Then these pieces I've got from the um, actual book itself and I've just cut them off of this page here. Um, so they are, um, we've got two notches under one, two notches under five and then we've got three quarters of an inch by four and three quarters of an inch both times. And then this piece we've got four by five inches is the space. So two notches under four, two notches under five for this one and then um, three and three quarters by four and three quarters um, for the top. Okay, so I'm not quite sure why it decided to stop filming. I didn't press anything. I haven't wiggled anything. I haven't touched anything. So I'm not quite sure why it did that. So apologies. So the glues I'm gonna be using is the usual glue. So I've got the Kalau All Purpose. No, I haven't. I've got Kalau Tacky Glue in um, this pot here so I just put my ruler away and I've got the all-purpose cloud all-purpose glue in this fine dispenser these are dispensers that I just picked up from AliExpress super super cheap okay so let's do the long parts first of all so I'm gonna pop a little bit of this all-purpose glue along the middle some tacky glue in those corners. Oops, feeling like there's a little bit of a blockage there, but it's working for me because it's giving me a really small amount. Now, if you wanted to, you could go ahead and try and cut a piece that's sort of this T-shaped. I've never found, I've, I've never been able to do it. Um, 
it always ends up that one piece always looks a little bit wonkier than the other so for me this is my way of dealing with that problem um, I don't think it sort of detracts from the actual card to do it this way um, but if you are way 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 cleverer, cleverer than me and you're able to cut that T piece then please you know you do you okay so these pieces again these are the sides or the little arms as I'm going to call it because they look like little arms on the edge of your card and pop that on and apologies for the lack of videos over the last couple of days um on Friday um I had to go down to we buy any car and sell my car because uh, I had a panic attack in it and it just I just can't drive it at the minute so um it's not worth keeping it when I know I'm going to be too frightened to drive it until they sort my issues out um but what happened was I went down there once and then I didn't have the right documents so I had to go down again and then by the time I walked home not only was I completely exhausted physically I was absolutely knackered mentally as well so um that was why there was no video on Friday and then Saturday I was moving things around and I think because I walked home from there it was like an hour walk even though it's only down the road but you just the way you have to walk is all the way around and I just just say that um, I put the um, little dots on the end there because this is paper um, the tacky glue can sort of rock it up but I still want that sort of floatability of that all-purpose glue with the confidence that that's going to be stuck while I'm moving on yeah so just um, I was absolutely exhausted um, and like sort of carried over although I've been doing bits in here um, and getting uh, bits it's, it's a big job you know it's been a big it's only a tiny room but they're, they're moving furniture around um, and, and mentally as well it, you know what it's like when you start looking through stuff and you're like oh didn't know I had that oh I mean like I'll show you what I found and I don't think these are mine I think these must have been mum's but they could possibly be mine so just giving that into the right place so that's the benefit of using that glue I'll show you what I found look at these what I found when uh, I was moving things around never been touched so they will come in at some point so that was a happy find but um yeah so i just didn't just wasn't in the right mental place to be able to sit and talk i did sort of do some little bits of crafting not making cards just sort of preparing things and that but just wasn't in the right space to be able to do a video so i do apologize and and normally, or I do try and like put a little comment up on my Facebook, but I didn't even manage to do that. I've sort of trying to, been trying to stay away from it as much as I could, but I'm back. I've dealt with losing my car and my independence, and uh, hopefully, you know, when things sort themselves out, I might be able to drive it again. But the reason why I had a panic attack is that I just I was driving down the road and um, it started to drizzle. Not a lot, but just enough that I just wanted to clean my windows um, and just, you know, sort of have a clearer view of the road. You know, you want to do the best you can when you're out and about in a machine that could kill people. And um, I just couldn't remember where... I couldn't remember where the um, wishy wipers, wipers were. And there's like, I mean, honestly, I don't know why it got so bad, but there's four sticks in coming off my wheel. So there's like an indicator one, there's like a light one, and there's another one down here, which I think might be the radio. I've never used it. I always use the little pointy thing at the side. Um, and then there's another one, which I think has something to do with cruise control. Again, um, you know... I, I sort of only got in the car, started it up on, on when I didn't really do anything too um, too exciting with it. But um, yeah, and then it just, you know, total meltdown, nightmare. But anywho, 
that's all I've been done. We're water under the bridge, moving on. Okay, so deciding what topper I want to use. So I'm thinking I'm going to go with this one because we've got the two frames on it. So, and by the way, this, this amethyst one, this is my favourite out of all of them. So um, I am a team purple. I know not everybody is. Um, yeah, I am a team purple, and this is this is definitely a bit of me all over this. I've got a new magazine coming soon as well, so I'm hoping that will be through the door maybe tomorrow. If they're you know they were doing it on Hobby Maker today, so I'm going to go and have a look to see what the kit is like. I think I did see a sneak peek online. Look good. Uh, so I'm just trimming away this little sort of proud bits of pips um, again pop it that out here we go just pop that one down my fingers okay so let's see how we want this to go so I've got that one that one and then I think for a sentiment I think we'll just go for this lovely happy birthday in purple could go for congratulations but no a nice circle with a happy birthday on this is what we need and what i kind of thought uh when i was planning is rather than doing uh, you know sort of usually i would do this blah 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 but i thought i might try that other arrangement where we've got um you know maybe these pieces coming across i might cut that down and then having that going that way but i don't know how that's gonna look Let's just, I don't know if it's going to suit this one. I don't like it, I don't like it, I don't like it. Okay, let's go back to our original idea then. We'll go back up here. Do I need the silver in? I think maybe I do because it's a little bit... Let's try one other thing. Bear with me two seconds. Where's that piece of paper we cut up? I don't know if that's going to be too much. Hmm. I do kind of like it more on the dark than on the um, silver. Try this one more time. So we know it's too light with that. All right, let's see what it looks like when we trim this behind. So let's just cut a piece. I'm just going to roughly use my knife to go behind. So if I bring that over, we'll tidy it up in a minute, but. very rough cut with a knife hopefully I've done it all in the right place yeah we're fine let's see is that going to look too much no I kind of like that oh, I kind of like it so we'll give it a shot let's trim this down to size crazy. Be the first time I have. Okay, so that's looking good. It's all neatly hidden behind there. Yeah, definitely think that looks better. Okay, let me move those bits out of the way. We can save that silver frame. 
along with the hundreds of others. And I'm gonna go flat onto the back of here. So what I'll do, um, let's bring in a piece of this. I'm just gonna use my dots for this. So just because it just seems to be quicker and I'm going onto that paper. I don't want it to rock up or anything. So just pop those all the way around. And I don't want to get dots on my mat, so that's why I've just done that. There we go. So that's nice and tight on there. And then I think I am going to raise that up, but just slightly. We're going to go with the oh, one millimeter pads. So I'm going to pop one. I don't know why I went over the edge then. It's a bit silly. And then three, four. You have to let me know if you're excited about the new magazine coming. I think I've got one more magazine and then I've got to sign up again. So I think this is my penultimate one of this year. Oh, well, of the year that I paid for because I didn't do it at the start because I did um and ah about it mum used to have the magazine but I bought it for her for um, her birthday each year you know and because uh, she uh, she liked them coming through I'm not sure if you can hear that that's hens he's quite a distance away from me now He must be here. Yeah. Um, it'll be the neighbours coming home, won't it? So what's the time? Yeah, quarter to four. Um, he, uh, he must be liking me being in here because I've not heard him slope off to his cage. He doesn't like to listen to me. He didn't like to listen to me uh, when I was in the living room with him. But, okay that he sat in the basket watching the door. He will be a bit nearer to me um, maybe next week or the week after because the chair is going and we're moving that over because we kind of figured that we don't really need quite so many chairs in the living room. There's only me and Donna and my sister really who comes, my other sister who comes to visit. So uh, we can always just take this computer chair that I'm sitting on in um, if somebody does need an extra chair. And I'll just put some tacky glue on. My nephew's baby came home from hospital. So uh, she's been at home, I think, two to three nights now. So uh, my sister's super please she's on nanny duty i don't think they'll get her away from it to be honest with you she uh i think she always wanted girls you know and she ended up with two boys um but i think she always wanted a little girl to dress up and stuff so she, now she's got a granddaughter so she can do all that Okay, so I think we're just going to come down here. I'm hoping I'm not going to see any of those. Let's just have. It'll be hard to see anyway, but let's take a little bit off, just in case. It's coming up cleanly, which is brilliant. Okay. Well, the other thing is I could pop it up there. Ooh, let's see. What do we think? I'm going to keep it at the bottom here and then I don't know whether I should use clear gems or silver I kind of was thinking I haven't used any of these silver gems on anything for a little while so maybe it's time to bust them out since we've got this silver foil in, so 
and that's there and I've just done that on a one millimetre pad again so that's um, in there oops a bit of ribbon tied up a bit. so let's just pop those in there uh, let's see so my little picky up at all what have I done with that Down, that's why. Sorry. Okay, so let's go with we we'll put two, one in each of these corners for a start. Let's just start there, and I think we'll go with this medium one. And then let's have a little look. I think we'll do. One of these really big ones, and then this sort of smaller one there, and try and match that up on the other side. I think about there, there, but there, and then we've got our big one in the middle. And then I'll just turn those over. Put one and, and then just because we've now got a nice even number which I don't like, I'm going to take this teeny weeny 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 one. You could go bigger if you want. Um, but I'm just going to go with this little ditty one right in the bottom there. Okay, put that to the side. And that is our little stepper card, card number one. Obviously, it does need a little insert inside, um, but we will do that another time. It's a bit of a boring watch to see an insert being put in. So I'm just going to clear the decks a little bit and get set up for card number two. Okay, so for card number two, again, we're coming in with a piece of six by 12. You know, it's my favourite. And I thought I'd do a little sort of gatefold, just a normal one this time. You know, sometimes I like to do the off centre one. This is going to be a normal one. So I'm going to score at three inches on each side. If you've got the big board, then you'll be able to score at three and nine. Um, I've still got the little one. Well, I have got a bigger, I've got a bigger hoogie board to be honest, but um, I might be using that one for six months. Okay, so I'm gonna give them a burnish down. And again, on there. And you'll see it doesn't quite meet in the middle, but that's good because it gives you a leading edge. Um, on the way out and most cards if you buy a card in a card shop you'll see um, you will have a leading edge and I think even if you use a um, a um, you know you can get the school boards that just do a specific fold in a piece of card um, they tend to put a leading edge in anyway okay so we're coming back to the silver um, for I need to do a piece for the inside which is going to be six by six and then I need to do pieces to fit two two pieces that will fit these three by sixes so let's start with the inside and I'm going two notches under that six and two notches under the six and even though there's quite a narrow border it's going to be enough that I can pop that in there without interfering with those crease lines because what you don't want to do is um, put anything over those crease lines otherwise you're going to get quite a bulky sort of weird folding card okay so then these two pieces for the side they are going to be two notches under three and two notches under six and again two notches under three and two notches under six and put those two to the side 
side. And then if I bring in a piece of printed cardstock, and I'm going to cut this down to five and three quarters. Save that for another day. And then for these front pieces, I want that to be um, two and three quarters. So I want that beautiful edge on the side. I know it's on as this way, but there's, you know, you can have it going anyway. It's not going to look odd. Okay, so again, two and three quarters. So it's two and three quarters by five and three quarters. And that's going to be our framing piece. We've got a lovely piece here, which is, um, should be, um, yeah, it'd be perfect for a three by six card. Um, and then I have got, if I pop that out of the way and bring in my little tiny guillotine, I have got one of the inserts that match. And I did sort of go through and pick the sort of similar flowers. So there is the hydrangea type things in here. I don't think they're hydrangea. I think they're more like apple blossom or something. But you've got these sort of lilacs coming through. So, And this is going to go on the inside. So... It is going to be a working um, insert that can, you know, people can write on it and, and put their message on. Um, and this just needs to be five and three quarter square. So if I pop this there, let's just double check that fits nicely on here. And you still got a nice chunk. I mean, I know this is plain, but you could use um, that. Will go in the three by six. Um, you can just use it as normal paper. I'm actually going to use it to catch some glitter in a minute, which is a bit wasteful, really. But oh, sorry about the little tinny noise. I'm just putting that back in an empty trolley. Okay, so let's pop these pieces to the side. What I am going to do is just. Slightly, well, it has got a leading edge, but it's slightly wider at the bottom than the top, which is a bit unusual. Let's just check. Put those in. Let's just straighten those out. So it's still got that leading edge, but it's not as noticeable as it was. So let's open this up and do the inside first. So this mirror card, we can use our purpose glue and our tacky glue and what I would say is when you pop this in just make sure that you give it a good press down so that there's no lumps of glue uh, you know you know what it's like if you try and write on something uh, it's not it's not easy um, and also just make sure it's not interfered with your folds so for this piece which is this way around. Um, I'm going to use my all-purpose glue because that's fine on this paper. But I am going to use, all right, you're hiding from me, um, this glue pen, dotty tape pen. Um, Hunky Dory have got their own. Um, I've still got a few. I think Mum bought a, um, a box set of both, like the, the dotty and the... Um, the dotty and the, the sort of full tape strip because um, I did find a couple of the full tape ones um, I do prefer to use the dotty and I think when that goes I will buy the um, hunky dory ones um, A because they're refillable obviously better for the environment and B because it's the place I buy from most now you know um, I was reading on Facebook you know, I think it was yesterday night actually um, about uh, Michelle and Jan no longer working for them which I think is a huge huge shame because Michelle um, particularly used to have these beautiful unusual projects you know so I'm hoping somebody else snaps her up um, unless she's gone back to store I think she was in store before so whether she's gone back to store I know she's got her own YouTube channel, but um, yeah, it's a 
was a, a real shame. I kind of thought jam might have gone for retirement. I've done that the wrong way around, I have. Uh, because obviously she got the extra, the extra. She got another grandchild now, hadn't she? And I think she did like to look after them. But, um, yeah, Michelle, that was a big loss. I still feel like that's wrong. If I did it right. to tell because you could have that either way you could have that like like a border going down um let's see what it looks like with the top I don't know if it's going to give you enough time to to see but I suspect I'm going to be tied to it now but um originally I thought we're going the other way but well, I think that looks quite nice actually all right we'll stick with it so um, it might be worth just making a note if you're copying this, just um, make a note of which way you want that border to go because it can go either way. Which is a bonus, isn't it? I mean, obviously it gives you another option of doing things, but uh, I hadn't thought about it, to be honest. I didn't realise until I popped it down and then it just looked wrong to me. Anywho. Happy accidents, that's what they say, isn't it? Let's see. Right, so we are going in again with that all purpose. Tacky glue in these corners. No, the right way around. Actually, looks like I put a bit of lace, you know, like you get the laces, don't you? It's growing on me. Okay. So let's pop this one out. And this one, this topper, has no silver, um, no silver um, border. I don't know. Let's bring it in. Yeah. So I could, if you wanted to, and you wanted to make a shaker card, you know, you could pop that on. I'm not going to, but I'm just saying because that is wider than. So uh, you know if you wanted to cut into your card and have that on the front or that on the front that behind you could do not for that way you need that okay so i was kind of thinking let's just grab those scissors and get that little pip off that's fine i was going to have one on one side and one on the other or I could put both on one side. No, let's do one on one side and then it locks it together. I like it when it does that. Okay, so let's go with uh, this one on the left. So I'm gonna have to cut these down. These again are one millimeter foam pads. Um, there was a deal on them um, today, I did see the sa um, savers I think they usually do have a deal on uh, some kind of deal on them but um, the one in the two millimeter one is on a bundle so I don't want to get too close and I just just want some on this half here so let's peel these off Uh, I did see Anita was back. She had a little bit of break from making videos. Uh, that's Crafty Kamati. Um, she also does quite a lot of hunky dory videos. In fact, pretty much only hunky dory videos, I believe, um, at the moment. Anyway, um, it was good to see her back. I had sort of wondered where she'd gone to. But sometimes you do just need a bit of a break, you know, from the planning and everything. I know she'd been busy making um, invitations, I think it was. She's got a wedding coming up. So, okay, so for this one, just to make it easier for myself, what I'm going to do is just pop. So we know this goes over the whole of it, so I can just pop foam pads all over the gap. 
and um, we'll use that. Put that to one side. Yeah, so let's do it to see her back. Would you like to watch and see what she's up to? There's not many, um, there's only like a me, Calamity, I think, and uh, Hunky Joy themselves that do their videos at the minute. I haven't really seen, oh, uh, there is Kate, isn't there? Kate Fletcher, she does, but I don't think she does making videos. I think she does like mostly haul videos and um, showing you what she's made sort of thing. Uh, more inspiration based um, videos, I think, at the moment anyway. Um, Definitely needs to be more people making hunky dory cards on video, I think. Maybe it's you, maybe you're watching this and thinking, oh, I could do that. I mean, they don't always go right, not even on here. And, um, you know, myself and I think Calamity as well, you know, we're honest about, you know, sometimes things don't go to plan. Um, and you have to sort of uh, pivot, as um, they say in Friends, pivot. Um, let's just make sure that comes up nicely. And then that should open. That should go in. There we go. So the more you do it, the better it is. Okay, so that is that. So let's see what sentiment we want to use. Yeah, so if you if you feel like uh, you know you want to be making videos, then you don't have to do just hunky dory. I'm not just gonna do hunky dory. I have done crafters companion in the past. Probably gonna do some spellbinders one soon. Uh, we've got wishing you all the best. I quite like that one. Could go. Alright, so we do want it to interfere with the opening. And I'm just wondering if I've got any ribbon down here. I haven't, so I don't think I'm going to use that one. So we've got on this special day or well, congratulations. Don't just dream your life, live your dreams. I think that was a little bit too big. Or well, we've got on your special day. It's kind of a lighter blue. Let's see what that would look like. Oh, I can like this one. Come on. Here we go. Yeah, I think that's okay. Go with that one. Um, yeah, so, you know, if you feel like... Yeah, I mean, you don't need a lot of stuff to do it. Um, my sister uses her mobile phone. I have got a camera, not a video camera, uh, a um, like a photographic camera, but it also does videos. Um, I sort of recommend getting some kind of light, whether it's a ring light or um, I actually did have a ring light, and I've swapped now to um, some other kinds of lights. Well, when I show you around. When I get things sorted and I do show you around my little space, my little crafty hole, um, I will. Um, that's probably not a great thing to stay on video, is it really? A crafty hole. Never mind. Um, but yeah, this little. <laughs> uh, I'm just laughing because normally uh, when I used to describe this area to people, I used to call it my back passage. <laughs> because it leads to the back garden so I think that's even worse than my crafty hole but um yeah so I'll show you my little crafty den let's call it a den um that's nice isn't it uh yeah okay so apologies uh, once again it's um I cut a little bit out but it was only just putting these little gems on so um that's all I've done is just pop these little gems on hopefully um i did look at it and it did look like that and nothing else was missed and it's just the wrap up really so that is that card finish so um you know it's got that interlocking element to it goes down nice and flat we've only gone up one millimeter um on both sides so it does fit really nicely you could go up 
um, put a two millimeter on there to make that stand out a bit more if you wanted to. Um, but even on a shelf, you know, that's going to, I'm oh, sorry, there's a little bit of a, a trailer glue. Um, that's going to sit nicely on a shelf um, and sort of catch people's eye. Actually, there's one other thing I wanted to do. Nearly forgot with the computer issue, um, not computer, um, camera issue. So um, back in my room now, I have my Glamour Dust. Um, and I did put my um, glue to hand. There we go. So I've just got a quickie glue pen. Um, so before, um, let me move that one out of the way. Um, I did use the um, sparkle overlay pen on um, another card, and it did um, put glitter on it, but it did dry into pools which I didn't mind on that card because it really did sort of suit. It looked like, um, you know on butterflies you sort of have the, the odd sort of circly bits. It kind of looked a bit like that. So um, I kind of liked it. Um, but I thought I was gonna go with something else. So the other options I came up with was um, quick glue pen and um, this one. Um, and there was a tonic clear. I don't know what I've done with it now. I'll put it here so that I would use it more. Oh, it's over there. There's a, um, a Nouveau Drops, which is clear. Um, and I did think about just using an old paintbrush um, and popping it on with that. Um, actually, let me just check that this is working nice. I just use this bit. Of... Oh, might have did one. Let's have a look. Come on. Oh. I think it's anything. Yeah, it's coming out. Okay, so usually when I scribble it just warms it up a little bit and then the glue starts moving again. So I'm just gonna pop some little um sort of straightish lines. So uh just I think I'm just gonna do it on this one, this one in the front. And you could go in and do, uh, you know, both the butterflies, you could do the flower, you know, all of those. Um, but let's pop this on. And this is a clear iridescent one, so it should just pick up those colours from behind. Bear me. Just give that a little blow. And you can see there's just that nice little bit of sparkle, but I will hold it up in a second. Let's just pop that away. Be the first bit of glitter that's been in this room. I know that you never get rid of it. You know what glitter's like. Okay. I'll just, yeah, let's see. And then if I pop that in, and hopefully you can just, yeah, you're just picking that up there. A little bit of sparkle on there. And that's just going along the, the lines of the wings. Okay, so now we've got the wrap up. So these are the two cards that we've um, I've made today. So um, this, sorry, excuse me, um, this stepper card, super easy to make and always looks lovely. And it's it's a great way of breaking up um, the design as well. Um, I love it on the long ta um, long um, toppers um, and oval toppers that sometimes I find difficult. Um, I think it always looks great on there. And I haven't done a proper gatefold for ages, so I just thought it'd be nice to to do that for once. Um, next time there is one more set um, that I haven't done with this, and then I may do something with the paper pad, depending on how much I love the magazine. If I love the magazine too much, then I might just do one uh, more of these butterflies and then come back with the um, magazine kit instead so we'll see how it goes I'll let you know next time because I think um, it should come maybe tomorrow or the day after depending on the post um, uh, you know the post around here is a bit weird you'll get a letter one day um, and then you won't get one for another week and then you'll get a load through the door but I think that's the way uh, Royal Mail are working at the moment according to uh, panorama last night they, they prioritize um, parcels over letters because they get paid more and there's more competition apparently 
um but that's it yeah so thank you so much for watching as always a huge thank you for your company and all the support you give me i really do appreciate it um and you know hopefully just it's just a little of one idea um of what you can do um with these toppers obviously uh you could make this stepper card bigger would be super easy to do that go seven by seven instead of six by six because uh, this is what this will fit into a six by six envelope um, both of these will fit in a six by six envelope um, i'll take photos i'll put them up on pinterest and facebook later today um, this video you'll probably be seeing it around about 10 11 even midnight if if something else comes up in the in the meantime i did make a cake so i might be munching on cake instead um, and then i will see you again hopefully on thursday Take care of yourselves and happy crafting. Bye bye.